Hey folks, welcome back. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to Law Creations. I just wanted to give you folks an update and uh, kind of share with you what's going on and uh, what's on my uh, workbench right now. So what you're looking at here is a, a 112th scale diorama. Uh, this is a commission. It'll be uh, it'll be meant for Star Wars, uh, Marvel Legends. It's going to have a sci-fi type of theme, spaceship hallway, or uh, something like that. Uh, very industrial looking. Uh, I get to weather it a little bit, but the the gentleman doesn't want it weathered uh, too too much. So as you know, my most difficult part of diorama building is the construction. And this is no different. This is probably a little more... Uh, maybe aggravating at times because it's such a larger piece but uh i'm having a lot of fun building it i'm learning a lot i'm trying out different techniques this is the first time i've i built a diorama along this line as far as uh science fiction themed i've done a little star wars diorama just a tiny one and uh nothing along these lines so like I say, the construction has been a little difficult. I had to do a lot of patchwork because the more the more I studied and the more I I looked at uh, reference pictures for like spaceship sci-fi type of walls, I noticed that they were very flush in their construction. Like there was no really like window moldings and things like that. So. I had to kind of do some patchwork on here because my original concept was going to be a hallway theme with like built-in moldings like you would on a house. And that's just really not the case for a science fiction diorama. Everything should be flush. So that's what I attempted to do here. Uh, it's a patchwork. It'll look a lot better when it's done. I wanted to make everything flush. Uh... This wall here will have different, you know, a whole different design. And I started making the floor, the floor. And you wonder why it takes me so long to do a diorama. And the gentleman I'm making this diorama for is aware. And he's very patient because I've been working on this for quite some time. Just the floor alone, I've been working on uh, two, three days, just the floor alone. So I had to uh, cut everything out. And right now I got it in place right now it's just a grid it'll be uh over here will be different over here uh, left and right will be different and uh yeah as far as the door is concerned the door that's pretty much will be the paint the paint scheme of this particular piece but it will uh it'll be weathered somewhat there'll be some signage uh, i still have so much more to do and my most favorite part will be, you know, later in the build when I get to paint it up and detail it and everything can look really good. These uh, windows here and the one up above are clear. It's got clear ac acrylic in the back. Actually, I used the dollar store uh, cutting mats as like a frosted, uh, a frosted look. But behind it is blue, uh, a blue filament. And when you shine light in the back, it it gives a really nice uh, it gives a really nice effect. The uh, the aggravation that I had building those is using super glue, uh, getting on the getting on the panels a little bit and kind of kind of just sticking out and ruining the effect and. And everything's glued in place, and to rip it up would be a pain. Uh, if you guys, if anybody's watching this, and you can give me some tips how to get super glue off of plastic. I tried alcohol. I tried acetone. Um, nothing works. So if anybody has some tips for uh, removing super, dried super glue from plastic, which I probably think is impossible, but maybe not. But yeah, so the, the windows, that, that grating for that particular pattern is a sheet metal sheet from uh, Hobby Lobby that uh, I picked up. 
I think it was like eleven ninety nine a sheet, and it gives you this particular uh, that particular effect. So it's very Star War ish. It's very uh, science fiction. Uh, oriented uh, yeah so I didn't want to just make this a Star Wars theme I want I want the gentleman that's going to be taking pictures to be able to have some versatility with his uh, photography so uh, my my final uh, my final look I'll give you guys I'll give you the measurements and uh, we'll uh, we'll take a better look at it it's everything is magnetized right now so it, it will be collapsible so he'll be able to store it uh, I don't know. If you look over here to the right, I tried using a, I tried using a uh, metallic acrylic marker on foam and it didn't work out too well. I should have practiced it on a, another piece, but it really ate away the foam. Something in the marker really reacted with the foam and it ate away. I don't know if you guys can see that from uh, this distance, but. I'll uh, I'll cover that with uh, I'll do some kind of detailing on that to cover it and, and that's the nice part of diorama making you can you can pretty much most of the time cover your mistakes and uh, like I say this has been a frustrating build uh, but a lot of fun building it uh, the the super glue I hate super glue finger stick super glue really worked well for the floor let me show you the floor pattern. That's, that's the floor pattern that I started. Everything here was cut individually. I got granny grading on the back. I'll paint it all up. I'll obviously paint all this a glossy black. And I'll seal all this and with, with gloss to give the floor like a shine. And yeah, so that's, that's where I'm at with this particular piece. I just wanted to share it with you. So yeah, surprisingly, I did take on a commission and... I just let the gentleman know that I do take my time. I'm fairly busy, but not even because I'm busy. It's it's most of the time when I sit down and work, like I say a hundred times, I take my time. So I'm building this as if it's for me. So uh, he'll get a good quality piece in the end. Right now it's kind of uh, patchwork, but it'll uh, it'll look really well. And I I'm hoping he'll be happy. And like I say, as far as commissions, as far as pricing, I have no idea how to price. Uh, people say charge per hour, but I can't do that because I take way too long. And, it, and it's not fair to the customer how long I take to make a diorama. So I got to come up with an idea. Him and I have an idea of what, what uh, he's going to pay, but I don't... Uh, I don't set in stone what somebody should pay. I kind of ask them, you know, what they can afford and and uh what they think and uh, i don't go by my time because uh nobody would buy a diorama for me if i charged uh per hour only because it takes me forever enough rambling i have a whole bunch of uh i've been pitch picking up a whole bunch of figures i'll i'll do an episode on on my pickups i'll show you the different ones i got i got some halo i got some uh six inch uh black series i picked up cad bane uh, I picked up a clone trooper, a couple of clone troopers and some halo and yeah. And I picked up a mythic legions, uh, night and I'll, I'll show you all those and, and maybe I'll do a review on a couple. I'm, I'm not a professional reviewer, but maybe I'll give you my take on the different figures. I hope everybody's well. I hope everybody's staying safe in these crazy times and, uh, wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving and, uh, I'll see you on the next episode of uh, Law Creations. Take care, guys.